pissing at the bottom of his car when he ain't using it on the on the floor. And y'all ordering grub, huh? I Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So um, today is just, what's today? Today is Monday the 20th. Huh? So for Christmas, my daughter wanted um, Tyler, the Creator's Igor record, right? And she wanted a record player. So she knew she was going to get it. So we let her go ahead and um open it up so the first record that i bought and it was at a reasonable price it came there was skips in it everything so after much digging i found and this is the igor album i found another one that was quadruple the amount and i'm praying that this bad boy don't skip now i already see hair on it i mean lint look at that look at the edge Maybe it comes with that though and there was like something like on like the case thing. <sighs> so Let's just play this. We gonna play this and this bad boy better not skip because I spent a lot of money on this one album. Is it up? Isn't the record supposed to spin first? Skip, okay. I get it ready for the case of the skips. How come it's not playing? I need to get down first. Turn the lead on. It's good. doing good because it was skipping on the first one. Like as soon as she put the needle down, it was skipping. It's gonna be cut. It did it again. I think it might be your record player. No, because the other one is doing it for my record. No, I'm saying Where that. You, maybe it's I supposed mean, to like skip into it so we can go to the next song. But why would it skip like that, though? I want to see if there's any scratches on it from that. Because like, maybe it's supposed to do that. It's just that weird way. that it starts like that and then it like... It are you placing it right? Yeah, you're supposed to put it on the lead point and it's going to play into the... So middle. you don't go closer to the edge? <laughs> see? Why would it... It can't maybe do that. that's on there. No, but it can't... If somebody knows something about record players and why we done bought two of these maybe records... And they've skipped. And it has to be something that we're doing or this record is not um, combat compatible with it's your record player. Size, because though, as the other one, as isolation, it's the same size. Yeah, but this same one looks size. shinier. I don't, maybe it's just... Y'all, I'm about to get hot because I done spent so much money on this second one and I could have saved my money and just fit because I feel like it's something. Maybe this record player is not compatible. Um, we bought this record player at Best Buy. I mean, it looks like it would be okay to play, but it just, it'll get here. And then I bought another record, which was the wrong record that she wanted, but it plays beautifully. It's like rock music. And it plays just fine, but for whatever reason, this Igor album is tripping. Y'all, I have no idea what's going on. You can't play it wet. You got to dry it. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So we're just going to go to the record store because this is ridiculous. We got not one, but two Igor albums. And both of them are skipping. So we'll see what they say at the store instead of us trying to guess what's going on so come to find it out same as the record player come to find out it ain't even the records this is cheap under hundred dollar record player that we got from best buy That's trying to be cheap and the guy no, in the record cheap. the guy in the record store played it and he's like these records are perfectly fine so he recommends if you want a record player you need to spend at least $200 on it. He said Technic. I've seen that. A lot of Technic. DJs use that brand. But he's like, you got to kind of invest in your turntable or record player. Because them little $78, $100 ones. I knew it was that record player. I'm like, there's no way two that records. two records are skipping like that. A piece of shit. So, yeah, we are on the way to Best Buy to return 
that record player I now. Don't think we can. I know. I'm like, will they let you even return it? Fine. They can return it, but I think you have to. Um, what? Um, send it back to where you got it. That man was rapping in that store. I felt like saying, bro, we know nothing <laughs> about record players. He talking talk about me. speakers. and He reminded me of Tom. And then he talked about the speed. The music played different in the different rooms mm. and the headphones. So he's a mu. I thought I was a music guru. No, he's a music guru knowing what rooms to listen to music in for the vibes and all of that. We in Best Buy. And this line is long, long, long. This line is wrapped all the way over there. Yeah, maybe she'll throw a plate. You want to run with the big boy? You want to chill with the... There go my Dyson. Where was the players at? Nope, big troller. Is that a turntable? And this one is cheap as hell too. Is that it for $69.99? All right, y'all. So we're back from Best Buy. We returned the record player. We had no box or nothing, and they were cool with us returning it at Best Buy, so that's done. Um, I did stop and get something to eat. Uh, if you have a um, dog hoss, a dog hoss in your area, please try it out. They have the best hot dogs. Ch I like the chili um, hot dog and the chili cheese toss. I know that sounds fat, but. Um, it's actually not that bad, I don't think, but I got the chili cheese tots, get into it, and then the chili cheese hot dog. Y'all can't tell me that ain't fire. So yeah, I'm going to chill out. I filmed today. I did some reels today. Super proud of myself because I got a lot accomplished. So I'm going to eat my food. I'm going to watch me some um, Love After Lockup some trash TV, and then um, I'll probably start editing the video that's going to be up on Wednesday, but this vlog will be up probably after that video. It's a sit-down video, so stay tuned for that, and if I have anything else to talk about, I'll be sure to turn on my camera. At the end of this year, God can do whatever he wants. He's a sovereign God, okay? It does not take God years to accomplish things, okay? What it takes man to accomplish in a month, what it takes man to accomplish in a year, what it takes man to accomplish in a week, God said, I can do that now. God said, I can do that today. My God, God said, listen to me. Oh, I hear this prophetically for somebody in my spirit. Listen, take this back to God. God said, people are going to look at you in one month and see you in the next month and say, how did you, y'all know I say this in my videos, it's prophetic. They're going to look at you and say, how did you go from that to that? What's up, y'all? It is the next day. I didn't turn the camera on after I ate. I had nothing really going on, but um, today is Tuesday, and um, I don't know if I told y'all, but I took Monday and Tuesday off, so Monday was more of a chill day. Like I said, I got some filming done, some reels done, so today um, I'm going to go to this really cute, well, it looks cute on Yelp. It's like this cafe that has all these cute little aesthetic desserts and teas and stuff. Um, I believe it is Korean. And if you don't know, your girl is a fool for Korean, Japanese, Filipino, all that kind of cuisine. I'm your girl. Like, cook me some lupia, whatever. Anyway, um, so me and Anaya are about to head there. It's a little gloomy outside, but I'm like, you know what? I can't let that ruin my day because I do go back to work tomorrow for a few days and then I'm off again and blase blase so i just wanted to show y'all my outfit which i think is super cute so i got this outfit on manier de voix if you watch one of my collective hauls well my only collective haul you know how much i love this brand they're based out of the uk and all the pieces that i've ordered have just been super fire so this is a jogging suit and as y'all can see, it has like this cute little like waistband on it with fishnet. Like where, where can you find that at? 
and excuse all the junkiness in the bathroom but yeah so um and then the top of it has these cutouts on the hoodie like oh, i just love this brand they he the guy he's a designer who used to be in the nfl i believe and he's the owner of this company and just his design team is amazing to me like what they think of is just like so unheard of so this is the outfit i don't call it a friend This girl right here is so bougie. She is so bougie. Tell them how bougie you are. She's over here talking about there's something carved in the window. Like, what, what type of child did I create? Look at that poodle. So we're waiting for our food. Um, I got the, so if you guys haven't heard, I was watching some cooking show or something about Japanese food and um, souffle pancakes came up. I'm sorry, I gotta put the mask on. Y'all know the drill till our food comes but souffle pancakes came up and they're supposed to be like really fluffy and just like the best. So I've been wanting to try these pancakes forever. And so um, I got the chestnut, I think chestnut or praline pancake. And then they have like an array of drinks. And then we both got a fruit melody. And it's so many drinks on here. It's like super hard to choose from, but yeah. And my hair is still drying, y'all. But if I waited for my hair to finish drying, we'd be home till six o'clock. So hopefully it'll air. Hopefully it will air dry out here. But yeah. Look. All right, y'all. Let's try this. I'm going out of my comfort zone of foods and trying something different. Oh, I got to get a picture for the gram. Great taste buds. Don't, don't be tripping out. You know that salad I made with the manual? From a manual, I was gagging because it was just too much garlic for me. It was just too many flavors. It's for mine, it was like I had a mouthful of garlic and I just started tripping out and I had to throw the rest away too much. Man, that's the mousse on top. The pancake is down here. Mm. Y'all, when I say this is fire, when I say this is fire, let's try this drink. It's tea. Y'all, I was Japanese in my last life. I was. Mm. Let's do a boomerang. Cheers. Yeah. You got it, sir. Pull yeah. away. One, two, three, four. Give me another shot. Nope. No, stop. Give me another shot. You gonna do it again? Yeah. You see my eyebrows are light though. I think I like this y'all. I ran out of my regular eyebrow pencil, but I'm feeling this. I'm feeling the lighter color eyebrows. Like I feel like it softens up my face and I'm literally, I literally use a lip line. Y'all, this grub hub bag that this dude got look like he been rolling it around in the damn dirt. I'm sorry if I'm looking here. I'm looking at my messed up lip liner. And y'all be ordering from Postmates and Grubhub and stuff. 
if y'all could just see how filthy this bathroom is. And he probably puts it at the bottom of his car when he ain't using it on the on the floor. And y'all ordering grub, huh? I will I never order from the places. If I can't get in my car and get it, I just won't have it. Uh. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that was that. The pancakes were good. This one thought they were a little too what? There's so much mousse. There on was it. too much mousse on hers, but I liked them. They were fine to me. So I guess because she got some kind of Oreo mousse one, I got um. Mine was like a chestnut one, like I said. So it was good. It was like I told her, you got to start getting your palate acclimated to different foods because if we're going to be going to um, Japan and all of that, we're going to be trying different stuff. So, and you can't be wasting food because I know it's probably hell of expensive out there when you no, start. Actually, if you go to Japan, it's actually not like that expensive. Well, I know if you go to like certain parts of, um, china and stuff they say you can have like a hundred dollars and eat like a king yeah. but also you got to make sure you know what the hell you're eating because you could be eating anything going out there but yep so now we are on our way to ulta they're having to sell on their tree hut products y'all know i love some Ooh, tree hut y'all know i love some tree hut exfoliation so they got a bunch of um they have a sale on that. I definitely need to get an eyebrow pencil. And what else do I need from Ulta? And then um, I'll be doing a holiday shower routine soon. So I want to see if they have like any holiday body products that I can incorporate in that shower routine. So yeah. Anyway, y'all, I totally forgot to bring my camera up in Ulta. But as you can see, I'm still here parked in the parking lot. It's Brinks. <sighs> But anyway, um, I got this Origins Check and Balances Frothy Face Wash because I'm literally about to be at a face wash. So I just wanted to make sure that I have some. This one has broadleaf kelp extract, wheat protein, and tourmalin. Um, checks all the boxes. So I got this. I, I really like Origins, but sometimes, you know, it could be a little plain, plain Jane. And then I got this Tree Hut Coconut Lime Moisturizing Shave Oil. Um, I wanted to try something new. I'm always using shaving cream. And like I mentioned, all of um, Tree Hut's products are 20% off currently. And then I got this Anesthesia Brow Free Styling Wax um, Gel. Is it a gel? No, it's just a wax. Brow Styling Wax because this girl at the dental office had her eyebrows looking fleeky. Do people still say fleek? <laughs> and it was because of this gel. So I had to pick some of this up. And then, of course, I always use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And I get mine in dark brown. But now, since I've been using that Chestnut Mac um, Lip Liner on my brow and I'm feeling it, I think I'm going to be mixing that with this to get the perfect color. Because I feel like um, this alone just makes my eyebrows a little too dark. So yeah that's it y'all i didn't get too much in there i don't know i don't be feeling ulta like that i go to ulta when i need something like i really need something and i go to sephora when more than likely i'm just in there wanting to waste money and get stuff that i don't need but that is just you know like perfumes and stuff but ulta is one of them stores where i just pop in there when i really needed some need something and i end up spending more but i really needed a brow pencil so yep um, I don't think we need to go anywhere else. I don't think we're going to go anywhere else for now. I came home to a package, and when I was in Ulta, I was thinking like, damn, because I, I sprayed the Ariana Grande Cloud, and I heard it smells like Baccarat, and it smells exactly, when I say exactly like Baccarat, there is no difference. At first, when I sprayed it, I was like, mm, I don't know, but nah. If you want to save you $300, three dollars, three foot, three fifty, get the Ariana um, Grande Cloud. It smells exactly like Baccarat Rouge. Anyway, I was smelling my wrist the whole time I was um 
driving, but then I get home and I got a package with a goat. And I totally forgot about this, um, but I did a little order on Sephora and bam, I finally got my Tom Ford Bitter Peach. So um, recently, I guess, Sephora now, or uh, Sephora, Saks Fifth, Nordstrom's, they're selling these um, in the travel size because the Bitter Peach in the full size is like 400 bucks and I just can't do it. So these travel size ones are like 75 bucks. So I could not pass this up. The last time that I waited two days, Sephora had sold out. But this Bitter Peach is the ish. So you know. Oh, I'm just going to put it. I can't even spray it because I got on this other stuff. But <laughs> anyway, this is the package. Look at that. And it comes with a spray bottle. And I am super excited because I've been wanting this forever. Yes. Oh, give me five minutes. And then I also got this Sephora's Favorites because it looked like um, there was a bunch of brands in here that I use. Um, it has, let me open it. It has Fenty Beauty um, Gloss Balm Cream and Fenty Glow. Um, I feel like I've had that shade. And then by um, Huda Beauty. Is it Huda or Huda? I think it's <laughs> Huda Beauty. Their Silk Balm Hydrating and Nourishing Lip Balm and Blush. And then by Milk, it's a Glossy Lip Plumper. So these are all lip, um, lip products. And then NARS. I think I have this one. The Mini Aftergo Lip Balm and Laguna. And then my all-time favorite lip. Anything lip by Pat McGrath. I'm a sucker for, and then they have it in the cup, and then the shade is um, Lust. So, yep, this will definitely come in handy because I'm always dropping like a lip balm or a lip gloss in my purse. So, I like to have a variety of different shades and different kinds so that when I lose one of them, just grab another one from somewhere else. So, and this was a great value. I think I paid like 20, 23 bucks for this. And these are high-end brands too, so not mad at that. What's up, y'all? Uh, it's the next day and it may not look like it because I think yesterday I had on this hoodie but hey, I was only out for a few minutes, so I surely did put it back on. But anyway, it's real muggy and raining out. But I just got back from, um, why my lips look blue or something? I just got back from Target, and I wanted to show y'all, well, I don't even think, I didn't really get anything from Target now that I'm thinking about it. But I did get a few little things that I thought y'all would want to see. Coffee holder for my coffee because right now I just keep it in a bag on top of the coffee machine and it just is too many open bags and things on this counter. Next, I'm gonna get a bread holder because just having these bread, the bread and bagels here, it just looks messy. So um, I had already got this sugar one um, a couple months ago, but I did not see the coffee one at my Target and I drove like 20 minutes away from me to another target and of course they had it there so i'm gonna go back to that target because they have a lot of home stuff that my target does not have but anyway isn't this super cute it has a little scooper and it's a pretty good size so i'm loving it okay but anyway um i was in need of some socks y'all if any of y'all want to send me some socks for christmas your girl is a sock fanatic <laughs> but um they had the cutest socks there and i love a long good sock during the winter like i'm not wearing no short ankle socks but aren't these like super cute and they were nine dollars each and you get two in a pack but these have smiley faces on them and they almost have like a little shimmer to them but i just thought these were the cutest things i don't know why i have an obsession with socks i just do and then these are pink with little polka dots on them and the polka dots are like these little soft little felt circles and then the other pair that I got 
was these polka dot, the same polka dot ones, but they're in purple. These are really, and they feel so soft, you guys, and they don't feel cheap like that cheap cotton. Like these are super cute. I mean, they were $9 for two pairs. And then I got these green ones that are, um, have shimmer in them. But I just thought these were so cute. And they have another, some other styles too that are from um, this brand. There, it's called A New Day. But $9 each, they surely weren't on sale. And then um, Target's stepping up their game in the lingerie. So they're almost like doing like Victoria's Secret where you go in and they have the drawers with all the different sizes. And so I got um, four pairs of underwear because they're doing four for 18. They swear they're trying to be Victoria's Secret. But I got this one and all of these are seamless because I'm not a thong girl, but I don't like my panty lines to show. So these promise that you won't have any lines showing. So I got this pair and I wear a size large. I got this pair, which is so cute. It's like lacy in the back and um, just regular in the front. And then I got a green pair, you know, for the Christmas vibes. And then I got like this pretty olive um, color. And for me, I'm all about comfort. I'm not trying to be in no skimpy thong. And I don't consider these granny underwear, because granny panties, because none of the seams show. So if I'm wearing a pair of sweats or some leggings, you're not going to see no big ass draw lines in the back. So that's the kind I like to get is this bikini style but i always get them seamless and reason, the reason why i drove so far away um to a whole nother target was because my target did not have any of the native um holiday scented body washes and i needed this for a shower routine that i'm recording tonight but they have candy cane and these, of course, are all limited. And then they had sugar cookie. And I also got the sugar cookie deodorant. Now, this is my first time trying Native. I hear that it's like a whole nother experience because when you're used to using um, deodorants with aluminum and this one does not have aluminum, it could be a little tough because this is not going to prevent you from sweating. It's going to help with the smell still. But you might sweat a little more with this, but I'm going to still try it. Maybe I'll use it as like a night deodorant and then put on my regular deodorant during the day. But I did get a chance to smell both of these. And let me tell y'all, these smell amazing. This smells just like candy cane and this just smells like sugar cookies. So if you're into these type of scents... Go ahead and go to Target because they're limited. I couldn't even get these on Amazon. I think your best bet's going to be picking these up at Target. So, yep, that's it, y'all. I didn't really get anything else. My main point was to just get that because I'm going to be filming a holiday shower routine. And that's it. I've been working today and it's been real gloomy and rainy. I picked up some lunch that's going to turn into dinner and yeah if something else goes on today i will be sure to pick up the camera what is up y'all it is christmas eve i hope you guys are having a great start to christmas and i am actually dressed i just finished a shower routine that'll be out tomorrow i hope you all enjoyed it it is holiday themed but i'm on my way to la to pick up some food um, there's this really good soul food restaurant. I think I've mentioned it before in a couple vlogs, but um, they have an awesome, awesome um, soul. They have really some really good soul food. And so for the holidays, the owner likes to make um, like pre-made, but it's not cooked, but she like assembles it and you just throw it in your oven. But she makes really, really good um, soul food so we normally get a couple things from her because your girl ain't cooking my cooking days of making all these lavish meals are over but I am gonna cook the cornbread dressing because ain't no dressing like my family's recipe I'm just saying and then I'm making banana pudding so of course I'm gonna film all that with y'all um, I'm probably gonna film you know me going to LA so y'all can see the outside of the restaurant 
So if you're ever in the LA area, Fairfax area, check her out. And they have some bomb Kool-Aid as well. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Y'all, we just got back Come from on, LA and I do not like driving in LA. This is this was my confirmation of why I stayed my ass in my part of California. Nobody can drive. People just hop in lanes and make lefts and rights where they shouldn't. Almost got my car hit about three different times. So now we in Bobby's truck. Let him get a little taste of this holiday driving because I'm through. The grocery store now because like I said, I'm making some things. So I need to get some stuff from the grocery store. Store be packed. It's Christmas Eve. So it's probably going to be popped. But yeah, y'all, we made it safe back. So now we're on the second trip. You know, the company makes the Go get it. Milk. I got one at home. And no, they don't have them, so come for you. Y'all, I really didn't even really need much in this store, but you know. Naya, move! Naya, move! Y'all, the offer still stands. If y'all want a child for $20, that's all I'm asking for, $20. And she's all yours. She knows how to wash dishes. She knows how to uh, vacuum dust. She'll do the whole nine for you. Twenty dollars. You can't get the sickness out of your mind. All right, y'all. It's packed in here like a. What do they call it? Like a something. Thieves or wolves and bees. What does that say it's called? Nobody knows. I don't even know, but yeah, we didn't get too much. I just needed to get some stuff for cookies and then I needed to get um, stuff for dressing, like I said, and that's it. So, all right, I'm back home, but I wanted to show y'all real quick. My little nails came in the mail. And they pop it and they came right on time because one of my nails then popped off and I don't know where it went, but these are the nails. Aren't these super cute? They're handmade. And like I said, what? Which freak is yours? The one with more. Which one? The one with more. But hold on because you diluted with water. Them drinks are sugary. Yeah. Anyway, so they hand make, she makes, hand makes all of her nails. And look at these, fire. My nail tech could never, I'm sorry. So um, I get them in a size large. So I'm going to put these on probably tomorrow, not today, because tomorrow I'm going to be cooking and we're making cookies and stuff. And I don't want my nails to get dirty. And these were only 25 bucks. And she shipped from North Carolina all the way here to Cali and I got them like in three days. So, yep, anyway, I need to start um, editing this shower routine because this has to be out tomorrow morning. So I'll see y'all when we probably start making the cookies. Okay, y'all, let me turn this off. No copyright. Yeah, so I right. saw these cute little cookies that someone made um, on TikTok and I you needed the square, um, the... The circle chocolate chip cookies and the square um, sugar cookies, but I had to reverse it because they had the square chocolate chip cookies and the round sugar cookie dough. Um, but anyway, I'll show y'all. Just watch and then you'll see what I'm doing. I'm going to try to do two different types of cookies. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas 
y'all this was a fail for whatever reason i could not figure out how to do the bags for these um the decorating kit that i have i just couldn't remember didn't feel like looking it up ah but this mint icing i got mm, it's so good and it's um i got it from michael's I didn't even know that Michael sells this kind of stuff, but it's called Sweet Tooth Fairy, and they had different flavors, but your girl loves peppermint, so I got peppermint, and you just put them in the microwave. They're like little pellets, and it melts into icing, so, ooh, this girl. So, basically, we were doing a cookie decorating contest, and she done blew me out the water. Anaya has oh, blew me out the water. Look at mine and look at hers, but I still want y'all to vote who won because y'all may like mine more. Yeah, we know they we know they won't. So here go mine. You know, this is Gucci inspired. What? <laughs> Louis Vuitton inspired. You know, you just gotta get creative with it, right? And then here, are you done? No. Well, you're done with this one, right? Yeah. Dang. Here go hers. You are the creative this one, one is when bad. it comes to drawing. You're not done with that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I paint, so, I sketch. Like here's, I really so noticed. what's this one? What's a, this one called? Snowflake. Just Snowflake? Yeah. Okay. Well, this one is called Wintery Storm. That ghetto tree. <laughs> <laughs> if this would have been working right, I would have been straight. You could have used the um smoother thing like I did. I, I'm not creative all like that not when it comes to when it comes to drawing and stuff like that that was not my forte back in school yeah we can tell y'all like my cookie though no. <laughs> we gotta put our cookies together so we can take a picture Yours for my thumbnail bad. oh well and this is her second cookie, y'all. And I want to so please comment below whose cookies look better. This is the first set, Anaya's cookies. For y'all that don't know, Anaya's my daughter. These are her cookies she made. And then here are mine. And mine are more on the creative realm of just whatever, how I'm feeling thrown on a cookie. My emotions. And what are you calling your cookies? Frosty the Snowman. And what about that one? Snowflake. Snowflake. Okay. So anyway, y'all, I was going to continue this vlog tomorrow. Um, you know, when I start all my little cooking and stuff, but it's Christmas. I really don't want to have the camera on. I just want to enjoy family time and just relax. And I filmed today. I edited today. So tomorrow should just be a relaxation day. Uh, a relaxation day i still have to wrap gifts tonight and get this kitchen straight so that i can get in here and cook tomorrow um but anyway i hope you all enjoyed this vlog i think this vlog spanned over like five days so it's probably going to be a whole bunch of randomness but anyway if you are new here welcome to the bjd family go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I hope you guys are having a good holiday. I hope your Christmas or whatever you celebrate is going well. And as always, I love you all. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.